The issue of giving them money is very important. It's important because we must understand from where we come from. We mustn't forget the history that brought us into where we are today. And the fact that the majority of our people, particularly black and women, do not have the money that they need to even do any startup. What I think is very important though, is that we must have mechanisms and systems of ensuring that that money is used properly. We must make sure that that money, we, we empower them to use that money adequately. Because we must also not forget the fact that they did not, uh, 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 they, they, it's not their fault that the skills level is where it is in South Africa today. Neither is it also their fault that the entrepreneurial spirit that is supposed to be there and entrepreneurship that is supposed to be as high as in other African countries was not created by them. So we always have to be very conscious of that element. Of course, uh, being in the ministry, one of the things that I'm very conscious of is that uh, money doesn't come for free. We just came from, a, a, I'm, I'm from parliament, I, I took the, the Break My Heart flight this morning at six o'clock to be here. And I'm sure I'm speaking to people who did listen to the minister yesterday and did, now you understand the, the, the environment in which we are finding ourselves in. And also to say, unfortunately, I have a ministry that was created at the worst of times from an economic point of view. The minister says we must use the little that we have in the best way that, that we can. And of course, I took that to heart. That's why I am here today, because I want us to have an understanding as South Africans that the responsibility of this radical economic transformation that we are talking about cannot be a responsibility of government alone. All of us have to put our shoulders to the wheel and make sure that we support this program, because this program is very important for the future of the country. So, young lady, the money has to be given to small and medium enterprises, and it must not just be money that's coming from government alone, by the way, because the challenge that we have, everything seems to be like, go to government, go, go to government, it's your government, it must be your government that gives you. There's a lot of resources that are also sitting somewhere else outside of government. What we need to do is to look at that resource and just try and make sure that the resource that sits in the big corporates and uh, somewhere else is also utilized maximally. What we don't want to see as small and medium enterprises, is big businesses in particular, just ticking in the box that we have our CSI, we'll just tick in the box. It's high time that you looked deeper into where you're putting the money.